Peace, love, and balance, everybody. Peace, love, and balance, y'all. It's your girl, Isha, the guys of wisdom. Also, not goddess on the rise, the copper queen, the power hooded queen, bringing this sacred energy exchange to two, 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 y'all. Look, y'all, I just woke up from a little nap. All right, I, you know, when you go outside, you know, it's summertime, so I'm outside, but that heat can really drain you, okay? That heat can take you down through this. So I had to, I'm having, I just hydrated, drink me some water. I'm trying to get my energy back up. I'm about to go back outside, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to go back outside. Yeah, it's summertime, y'all. I love Leo season. I just do. It's so bright. You know what I'm saying? It's so light. And it's so, you know, awakened and free and shining, right? Like, you need to tap into this energy, okay? This Leo season just don't do nothing but get me ready for a Virgo season. It just gets me hyped up all the way. I feel like I got two two birthday months, just to, two solar return months, just to keep it real. It's very, the energy is at a all-time high. You have no really no reason to be sad because this energy is so positive and happy because it's it's the sun, right? It's the energy of the sun. And by the way, that last reading I just did, when I pull at the, when I turned the bottom of the deck over for the tarot, it had the sun card. I ain't even get to pull, do the bottom of the deck. But yeah, this is your time to shine. So everybody should be shining right now. You should be in a place of celebration, happiness. You do not have to be a Leo to tap into the Leo energy. Okay, you you should be energized too. A lot of people got a lot of energy, and we got a lot of sexual energy too. Okay, some of you, that's this is the highest sexual energy right now. So some of y'all, that's why I to told y'all this is mating season. Y'all out here hunting for your partners. Even if you think you're not hunting, you're not. You are hunting more than likely. It's a natural thing that's going on. Even all the animals are doing it. Okay, so sexual energy, which is your creative energy, is at all time highs. It's all a matter of what you want to do with this energy, though. Okay, and if you want somebody, then you know go for it. This is the season. Just keeping it real, like. Y'all know I, I keep us in tune all the way up into cuffing season. And y'all know cuffing season is the bottom of the map. The scraps. The people that didn't get picked, you know, during this season. But sometimes it's not a bad thing because some people are just more patient. They ain't, you know, they not desperate. Maybe they didn't want nobody during mating season, okay? But I'm just telling you, all the great options when it comes to sacred unions are going to be gone between the months of July and September. That's just saying, because it's the, it's the, it's the hypest energy. And love is at an all-time high. The energy of love is at an all-time Y'all know we just came out that Venus retrograde. So everybody has been like, uh, and then cancer season. So everybody has been clearing out their emotions, addressing things, forgiving, wanting to be in a more loving energy and everything. It, it doesn't matter. Like, wanting to be close to family members even, too. It's just a loving energy. So this is going to be the Tarot Tuesday message. I did not really prepare for this or anything, y'all. I just got up from my nap and was like... I got to drop this because I do feel some energy coming through. It's a divine message. I do feel like this is going to be a love reading. That's the energy I'm trying. It's going to be really matters of the heart. Like some love energy has been coming through heavy. All right. So I'm going to ring my bell and get us a tune with spirit. Earth, air, fire, water, spirit. So universe, my higher, higher self, and spirit guys, a balanced light. Answers is known and unknown. Please come into this space and provide us a Tarot Tuesday divine message for this Leo season. Hotel. All right, y'all. Death, all right, the death card came through. So death means somebody definitely is going through a rebirth at this time. So let me tell you, what that looks like is some of y'all emotions have been up and down. Depression may be on and off, you know what I'm saying? Confusion even, too. A lot of confusion, you just, somebody's in deep thought and stuff because you're like, what am I feeling right now, okay? Let's ring this bell on that. Somebody's like, really like, what am I feeling right now? Why am I feeling all of this anyway, okay? But it's it's a part of it. And stuff may even be happening, you know what I'm saying? One minute things are up and then one minute things are down. And you're like, I need some stability. I need some security. Like, what is it? But you're in the middle of a rebirth, okay? So you're, you're going through the death energy, okay? So things may not always be working out your way. You may be even getting tested right now. Because the main thing is, this is your season to shine. And you're going through your last trials and tribulations because they're trying to see how bad you want the success in this time of shine. Are you going to just fall off and and give up as soon as stuff gets too hard for you? Or are you really going to go for what you want? You see what I'm saying? Because that's what we do. It's easy to give up on stuff when it just hasn't been going the way we want it, right? It gets discouraging. Like, am I am I really putting my energy into something that's not, not really serving me? Am I kidding myself? You start going through doubts and stuff. Somebody even been going through doubts, even in maybe your career or relationship. Just somebody's going through some type of doubts about things. And this is the message that you had to go through that to see how much you truly loved yourself. Okay? Truly, what, how much you believed in yourself, too. It's, you're going through the rebirth. It's about to turn around. Big time. Just just stay stay the course. Oh, four of 
Four of Swords, okay? So, y'all, this energy is an air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I do feel like somebody, feel, you know, some, somebody needs to really focus on more stability in their life right now. And your stability right now may have to be alone. Because this, this is the energy about getting rid of people. Some, some people around you are still vampiring off of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe trying to copy you. Maybe trying to, like, you know, take from you. Uh, maybe trying to like, you know, steal your ideas, even your energy. That's the energy just come through. Some people are trying to steal your energy and it's kind, it's kind of making you feel like this. Okay. You may feel drained around these people. And when you get away from people, you even feel more drained and they feel like you got to charge your body back up because people are like some blood suckers. Like they, they stab you open and pretty much sucking your blood at this point. They, they're taking from you. Okay. And you got to get away from these people. Okay. It's time to let go of some more people. I'm talking about some new people. Maybe they may have just came into your life and it's time to kick them out the way because they in the way they just are i don't care how nice they are people are draining it people can show you all kind of nice things up front right because i've ever known that narcissists do that too narcissists know how to lay it on thick i call them love bombers and then they true colors they 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 do all the good stuff up front because they don't want you to see all the flawed stuff they want to blind you to all the flaws right they want to blind you to all this stuff so they hoping that they all these good things they showing you for, and especially when they just willing to do stuff like that. Like anytime you call, they there, and it's like overly available kind of thing, and you start questioning that a little bit. Okay, like is this too good to be true? Just pay attention to the red flags. Are they draining you though? They may be doing all that good stuff, but is, is are you happy though? Are you do you feel fulfilled? Because materialistic things wear off. You you can have somebody doing everything you want and still be unhappy. I'm I'm telling y'all. Okay. You have to be at peace with people. You have to be energetically connected in, with people, okay? It's just, it, that's just what it is. All right. This is the six of coins. Let's ring this bell, baby. Look. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy, okay? Okay, so the bottom line is somebody is in, a, in, a, in the energy of receiving, okay? And I also feel like you're some kind of giver. You see this? You're the judge. You see these scales? Somebody is some kind of Libra energy. Somebody could be a Libra or somebody could be... Uh, very much in tune with the goddess of my art about in the justice energy okay somebody's a leader you know what i mean somebody knows how to judge divinely okay so you're not just an unjust judge you're a just judge okay you're very honest and a person of integrity okay and people appreciate that about you like they can see the honesty glowing off of you okay they know they can trust you and because of that people are willing to give and they actually people are honored when you per you know give to them like they're honored to receive things from you something you do they're honored to receive it from you or uh or even give something to you you know what i'm saying like say you buy something from them they're honored like i'm so glad you bought my stuff like they think that highly of you if you want their stuff it makes them feel better about themselves somebody really knows how to uplift people and that's why you about to get these coins okay somebody about to get these coins it's your i'm telling you it's your time to shine baby it's your time to shine okay Five of coins. All right, five of coins. Or some more Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is a lot of energy coming through, y'all. So the bottom line is, I do feel like you still got some, some crippling behaviors, okay? Maybe some people that's really crippling you, hanging on to you. That's the energy I'm channeling right now. And you're, you're chain, big changes are coming through in your finance. So this is the thing. This energy is coming out right now. You're in the middle of a prosperous uh, ascension right now. And there's some people that know that. I'm talking about they know that. And they hanging on to your like coattail because they they really want to be a piece of that experience um, that's the engine i'm channeling they don't even deserve it they and they want it for the wrong reasons they just they it's it's somebody it's an ego thing that's the engine i'm channeling okay somebody's in in it for the ego okay not in it for true divine love and friendship okay about your success that energy coming out so just watch that they they're really this they don't look like it on the outside but this is what they are they're handicapped and they actually need you more than you need them. And they don't, and that's what they don't want you to figure out. So they may be flooding you with gifts, compliments, you know, praise, just just over attentive to you. It's called love bombing. Watch out for the love bombers, baby. The sun is out. <laughs> Watch out for the love bombers. All right. All right. Bottom of the deck. This card keep coming out. Nine of this is the nine of wands. Look, Leo Aries Sagittarius in the bottom of the line. This man is still waiting. This, I do feel like this is going back to my Leo read. If you've been watching me on YouTube, I just did a Leo season reading. You should tap into that. It's definitely probably a positive message for you. But this man is a family man or woman. Take it how it resonates. Look, this is the card again. The sun energy, baby. All right. 
the sun energy, baby, it's you. This this man or woman, take a hat, resonates like, I'm waiting on you. I want you to have my babies. I want you to be my husband. I want you to be my wife. I want a family with you. And I want to pour into you and give you everything you ever want. You see this money? They like, baby, I got whatever you need. Just come be with me. That's her in this bell. They like, just come be with me. Baby, the sun is shining over here. It's bright. This is this, this is bright. They, this, this is their energy, y'all. I can feel it. I'm getting emotional. This person like, baby, I want you to shine with me. They, they don't want to shine without you. Look, the will of fortune. This is our time. They know it's y'all time. And they like, I want you by my side. So that's the thing. This person is a very picky person, okay? They picked you divinely. They know there's nobody out there better for them than you. And vice versa. They know it ain't nobody out there better than them for you. That's why they like, baby, come be with me. And they like, just, 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 just stop playing with this energy, okay? They want you to stop playing. Let's pull. Uh, I feel like we need to pull for one more deck. One more deck. Because that energy was extremely powerful. Yeah, okay. Let's pull from the... Uh, we're going to pull from my... Uh, how is this person feeling about you right now? The Divine Masculine and Feminine. This was heavy, y'all. I want to go on ahead and give y'all the whole scoop. But yeah, this person... Somebody is really... Somebody really wants to be with you. Big time. Big time. They can't stop thinking about you. This person wakes up thinking about you. They go to sleep thinking about you. They at work thinking about you. They even on vacation thinking about you. This energy I'm trying to... This person could be at a whole strip club. At a bachelor party. Or a bachelorette party, and they they don't even care. The the men or the women is whatever they doing. He they like this ain't this ain't it. They don't even get excited. They thinking about you at a strip club. <laughs> they thinking about you at a darn strip club. They even, they asking they said why am I even here? My, my man, why am I even here? All right, all right. Let me cut this deck, y'all. I want to know how they feeling about you right now. Right now, cause this was heavy. You let me down. So somebody is feeling let down by you. All right. I don't know why they feel like maybe uh, maybe you didn't get them another chance or maybe you hurt them. Maybe it's something. But somebody feels like let down by you a little bit. Somebody or this could be your energy. That's energy just came out. Somebody knows you want them back. Somebody know. So this could be you. And they like, but you let me down, though. So somebody is actually a bit fearful about letting somebody back. So this energy is happening again, y'all, about somebody coming back. Somebody didn't want to come back. And I do feel like it's with this fire energy. This man that got a lot to offer or a woman take a high resonate that's waiting right now and waiting on the right time to make a move. It's like you're feeling like this person let you down, but they trying to make it up to you. They really are. Like, you say the word and they'll do it. And it is love. It's This is not a narcissist. This person has really went through a rebirth. I feel like y'all both have been through this death energy and have been gone through rebirth. And this person is ready now, all right? I feel so happy with you. Exactly. This person, like, you you mean the world to me. It's, this person is literally like, there is nobody else for me but you. And if they can't have you, they actually, I'm just, this energy is coming out. If they can't have you, they said, they, they ready to be a, a hoe. I mean, <laughs> let's ring the bell. That energy just came out. You're the only person they're willing to commit to and be in a, like a sacred union with, which is you and them. Anything else, they say they, they know it's not enough for them, so they're going to have to be a they they going to have to be out there and have a couple, but you're the only person that give them what they need in all aspects. Mentally, emotionally, physically, you know, spiritually, you tap into them. That full compatibility. When you have somebody that's fully compatible with you and hit all your love languages, you don't really need other stuff. But when you don't have what you need in that one person, you you try to split it up and get things you need with multiple people. But this person actually doesn't want that. They want to be committed to you. This person is loyal. And if they can't have you, they they like, I'm going to just stack up. <laughs> I won't let you down. What did I tell y'all? So you're feeling like you let me down. And they're like, baby, I will not let you down. Okay, that's the last time. Just give me another chance. Okay, they just want another chance. They're not going to let you down. They promise. I promise you, this person is like, you give me that one more chance. And I promise you, on my mama, on my own life. That I will not let you down. Okay, they're not gonna let you down. This is serious, y'all. They're not gonna let you down, babe. They, they, they've been, they've been getting themselves together too long to just up and pop up and be dumb again. They already lost you one time. I feel like they're not trying to lose you a second time and be extremely devastated. Okay, I know you don't feel the same. Okay, so they don't for see, cause see, this is your energy. You're questionable. You love this person. Somebody really hurt somebody. Somebody actually was all in for this person that wants you back. I'm talking about you was all in. You probably don't even normally be this vulnerable with people, but you did with this man or this woman, and they let you down. And then you and they feel like you don't feel the same. They 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 do feel like you may still be hurting from what happened in the past and don't believe that they are a better man or a woman now. And I mean that's gonna be up to you to decide, okay? I, I know you don't feel the same, but they right now they're feeling like you don't feel the same about them. And they only, this is my thing. If you are this person that feels like they don't feel the same about you, um, it's time to take a risk. Like, I have reached out to somebody before that we broke up and told them I wanted them back, okay? We broke up. 
I told them I want them back. I, I told them why I wanted them back. And I never got a response. Okay. Does that mean I shouldn't have done that? Absolutely not. Because I had to take, I had to be vulnerable. I had to take a risk. That's confidence too. And when they didn't answer, that was my answer. So I did my part. All right. That's why I just posted. When people sleep on you, let them sleep on you. I did my part. I'm not going to force myself on somebody. So that's what I'm about to tell y'all. Don't be scared to reach out to somebody. Because I'm going to tell you that you can actually figure, find an answer and get a solution and have closure. Or you can always be wondering. And then when you always wondering, you actually missing people that's coming along your path that's for you. Just everything you wanted. But you're too stuck, stuck on this other person because you won't break the cycle and really address it you want to stay in that wondering energy and and hoping no get it over with reach out get it over with reach out and if they don't respond keep it moving all right keep it freaking moving this is that leo energy coming through i can't do hold on look i can't do this okay so somebody is like very terrified to reach out to you they like they are scared of rejection but they because they don't want to receive a no from you like if they if they they right now they feel safe because you don't know how they feel you and you don't know how they feel because they never told you, but you probably been feeling it, okay? Because this person is spiritually connecting to you, all right? So if you've been dreaming about them, waking up thinking about them, going to sleep, daydreaming, and they just starting to pop up on your mind, that's because they're thinking about you and y'all having some kind of telepathic connection, okay? And they're sending you energy. So this person is feeling like I they're going to be crushed if you say no to them and don't take them back. So they're scared to take the risk to, to reach out to you. Uh, so look, so the bottom line is they're going to have to take a risk. That's how it is, y'all. You got to take a risk. You can't just... You know, keep, I mean, if you want to, you can, but you'll never get what you want. You'll never get what you want. We're going to pull from the astrology deck and I'm going to wrap this reading up. I'm happy I did this today. And thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm going to do a quick from this drive because I feel like we need some astrology answers, okay, with this season. Because this season, baby, it's fire and it's not a joke, all right? It's just not, it's not a joke. It's not nothing to play with either. People be, people, I told you, it's mating season. People get pregnant a lot. Everybody pregnant during the summertime. Somebody done found out they got pregnant. But that's what I'm saying. You still got to be wise right now. That's why them scales came out over there. Judge wisely out here. All right. Be safe. All right. Let's go. So, beams of ascension. What did I tell you? Y'all in the middle of ascension. Okay. It says right here, light codes of awakening, breaking old paradigms. Okay. Somebody has became new. I told you. Y'all went through the death energy. Somebody has became new. You have been transformed, okay? You have been transformed. You are a new being, okay? You're at a higher status, too. People respect you, all right? That's the I'm channeling. People look at you like you're some kind of earth angel. You're not even human to them because you're probably not, okay? You're a god, all right? And you done broken old patterns. You're not the same person anymore, okay? That's definitely why this person wants you back. Blossoms and bloom, baby. I see that's why I wore my flowers today. It got here. You're about to come into a season of expansion. Let's go. This is your time to shine. Let's pull this card back up. You're about to expand, baby. The sun is in your favor this season. It's the Leo season, y'all. Money about to fall down and rise up and everywhere, okay? It's about to explode. It's about to be an explosion of abundance. I mean, love, friendships, partnerships, collaborations, marriage, sex. I'm talking about everything. People, that your cars, houses, property, land, whatever you want, it's happening, okay, baby? It's about to happen, all right? It's your time. It got contrasting, okay? Contrasting. Darks help us see the light. Choosing wrong helps us know what was right. All right. So, somebody is coming out their dark age, okay? Somebody has been making all the wrong decisions in their life with people, places, career choices, everything. Friendships, even with your family members, okay? And now, they done been through all this dark stuff. They, they can see the light. Somebody, that's what I'm saying. Somebody slept on you. That's the energy I'm channeling right now. This is heavy, y'all. Listen to me. Somebody slept on you. Somebody, I told you, this this energy keeps coming out. Somebody dropped you like a bad habit. They tried to treat you like you, maybe you treated you like you was a hoe. And like you was a regular dude or a regular a man or woman kind of situation. And you ain't regular. You're extraordinary. Let's ring the bell. Let's go. You ain't regular. You extraordinary. And they see that now. They was in a coma or something. They was dead. Look, they was dead. They like, baby, I'm woke now. <laughs> they like, baby, I'm woke now, okay? And I'm about to come get you, all right? I done seen, I done done wrong, so I know what's right, okay? They done seen the dark, and then they see the light, and you are their light, okay? You're their light, all right? Capricorn! <laughs> baby, Saturn Capricorn, okay? So this is karma, order, hard work, mature professionalism, boundaries, commitment, stubbornness, materializing, you know, boundaries, and creation. Somebody has learned their lesson. 
Somebody is disciplined. Somebody is a goat now. That's the I'm channeling. This person could be a Capricorn as well. But somebody is definitely some kind of goat now. They have became disciplined and secure, okay? And ambitious and all that. So somebody has really worked on their stuff. And, and they're in somebody could be going through their Saturn return. Somebody could have a lot of Capricorn placements as well. But somebody's going through their Saturn return. So you could be seeing nines, 999, or 333, which is Ascension. Somebody's really going through it and you're somebody's transforming. This is Ascension. Where that car go? Somebody's ascending. Of course, and now that they see you, they like, I'm about to snatch him or I'm about to snatch her now before somebody else see him or her. Okay, and then it's going to be, they already know people see you, but they, they know, okay, this engine, the engine I'm trying to, this person, they know that you really don't have to choose them and just you got options. That's why they like, you know what, but she ain't got this option. They worked on they stuff. They like, I'm a man or I'm a woman now, like a real one, a divine one. Okay, that's the engine. This person is very confident in they self, okay, and they're very, you know, they like, you know what, I have done my shadow work. You so you heard that card? They're like, I done done my shadow work. I deserve you. They feel like they deserve you now. And they didn't feel like they deserved you before. They do now, though. Because they worked on the same. Divine mother, baby. Let's go. Y'all know this is the Virgo energy, okay? Allow the divine to nurture nature leaves when you surrender. I just posted a lot of plants today, y'all. I woke up in the energy of just plants and flowers. You know, I went to the park and all that stuff. I love being outside, y'all. So the bottom line is nature is like, baby, just come to me. So whoever you are, your answers is outside. Go sit by a tree. Go sit on the ground. Go outside in the, in the forest if you want to. Go to a park. Go to somewhere where there is nature is some answers. G smoke you some Mary Jane, some green Okay, but get some healing, okay? Get you some nature healing, okay? That's the I'm channeling. The mo she she want to help you make a right decision. And let me tell you, the only way you're going to make a right decision is let her, let her let her be with you. Let her put her love on you. Earth love, baby. This is earth love, all right? You see that Capricorn energy came out. This is earth love. This feels so raw and rare and authentic, and it's green life, okay? It's formed. It's, it's smooth. It's, it's, I'm telling you, this is you're going to know with it when this is the person for you. You're going to know. You're going to know when this is the person for you, okay? Because it's going to feel like earth. It's going to feel like life. It's going to feel like water. You know what I'm saying? It's going to feel like fire. You're going to feel all the elements with this person. That's what I'm saying. They're going to light your fire, okay? They're going to they gonna, they gonna ground you, all right? They're going to uh, they uplift you like wind, okay? All right? And they're going to flow in with they love like water, baby. It's everything. And they spirit, definitely. Y'all spirits are going to be very connecting. This is this is definitely some kind of twin flame. Let's ring the bell. This is definitely some kind of twin flame, y'all. So that's all I got for y'all. If y'all like this content, please like, share, subscribe to me on YouTube at Sacred Energy Exchange 222. Also, please check out my website, Goddess on the Rise Life, and check out my copper jewelry. I ain't really wear none today. I just jumped on live because I just woke up from a nap, y'all. So check me out on Goddess on the Rise Life. Also, check me out on uh, TikTok and Facebook at Goddess on the Rise, y'all. I'm you know, I'm building all my platforms up. And by the way, y'all, the copper cards have came in. Hold on, let me take this out the plastic. Copper cards have came back in, y'all. So if y'all want one, these are 30 bucks. These are copper cards. They can be used as bookmarks if you want to in a book. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Some people be telling me they use it to cut their weed. <laughs> They was like, man, I be cutting my weed with that stuff. So, yeah, whatever you want to do with it. And also, it's my business information, okay? All my business information, you know, my appellation is on the front. My logo is here on the side, where you can find me at, and also on the back, okay? Now, these cards, if you make a $200 purchase or more, you get one for free, okay? With your with your jury purchase, okay? Same thing with readings. If you get a reading by me, and it's like you get my Ascension reading or something like that, uh, I, I got you. That's what I'm saying. You get a card, all right? But if you buy anything under that, it's definitely going to still have to pay the extra $30 to get this card, all right? So, yes, check that out. I didn't have, I don't have these posted on my website yet. So, just DM me, all right, if you want one. Because I do, if you just, some people just like to order this card. Because also, this is like, this. if you keep this in your wallet, this is how you manifest money, okay? This is like, you can use this in money rituals too, y'all. Like, literally on your altar to manifest love and abundance, okay? This is copper, all right? So, that's what I'm telling you, dude. And it's a protection amulet on it too. So, protect that, protect yourself, protect your money and all that. It's, it's so many things in one, all right? So many things in one. So, that is all I got for y'all. Thank y'all so much. 
Uh, I think that's it. Oh, by the way, my email sacred energy exchange 222 at gmail.com. If you want to book readings with me, that's sacred energy exchange 222 at gmail.com. Now, listen to me on this, y'all. I got to talk about this real quick before I go. I had a young lady that was a bit suicidal. Y'all know I've been suicidal before, too, so I know how that goes. And now that I'm in a more healed space now and have a lot to live for, some people contact me in a panic state. And then when they see my prices, they that, that takes them over the edge. Do not come to me when you're at the, the brisk of suicide, okay? You need to go get, y'all need to go get help. A, a reading is not going to help you once you get to that point. It really troubled me, this young lady, you know, this happened to her. Luckily, a friend, a friend of hers, you know, contacted me and ended up going and to get her and she's fine. But... I'm not going to be able to give you a free reading because you're in that state. That's not even fair to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I need y'all to really take it seriously. I, ha I have posted the suicide hotline and everything. Y'all need to reach out for help. Do not do that. I am not a, 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 a licensed counselor or something like that, a suicide professional or nothing like that. And I, I don't want to, you know tell you the wrong thing or say something to you that triggers you because you're not even ready for the message okay because my message is not always it's going to tell you like it is okay so y'all go get go get cancer i'm not playing about that go go to the go wherever you need to go i know people don't like hospitals but you better go somewhere go get a reiki session uh and that's another thing y'all i had to pay for my counseling i got counseling i had to pay 150 dollars a session because i ain't, i'm a full-time entrepreneur i don't got insurance but i paid it I paid $150 per session. And I kept paying that $150 and got myself help. So nothing is free, y'all. Not even healing. Yeah, we got to stop thinking healing is free. It's a lot of energy as healers we take in. Counselors, therapists, coaches, you know what I'm saying? Reiki healers, all that stuff. They're taking on stuff and who's helping them? They can't do stuff for free and then they can't take care of their well-being. So that's I want y'all to understand that. But please take care of yourself, y'all. Smoke you some weed, all right? And go outside. Don't. Don't be out here suffering by yourself, okay? And don't be draining your friends and family members. Get professional help and be consistent with it. Your friends can only do so much, too. They got their own problems, all right? So I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. I had to say that because that really was troubling yesterday with that young lady, and I was really, I was I was in my heart for her because I've been there. So, but y'all take care of yourselves. Happy Leo season once again, okay? And have a great Tuesday. Peace, love, and balance.